I mean, come on. You're at an ultimate tournament. Yeah. <laughs> you got to reapply every 90 minutes, no matter what. We learned those lessons the hard way. Oh, big bid from Dylan. Unsuccessful, though. Salzman feeds it downfield for Boxley, and we get a stoppage. You need a couple of those to beat a team like Sockeye. Best view on the field. Here, how's that? Best view on the field. No play on the desk. Right. Right on the desk. He would have had a bonus play on the field. Yeah. Okay. All right. Would you like to play as a contest, or would you like to come to me? Um, I come to you. Okay. The observer ruling is that it is a foul because it's in the cut and it impacts its play on the disc, it is going to be Black's disc. Okay. The offensive foul was a turnover. Correct. It is an offensive it was receiving foul, receiving so foul, it was a receiving foul. impacting his play on the disc, therefore. The disc not up. Yeah. The throw was not up this when is the foul occurred. Yeah, the receiving foul. The foul was, the disc was not up. It is still a receiving foul because it is impacting his play on the disc, therefore it is a turnover. It is his disc right here. It'll restart with a defensive check from you on the disc. Okay. Let's take a look. Watch on the back side of the field. You see the little push from Boxley. It's called a foul. But if the disc isn't in the air when that foul happens, that's not a receiving foul. That's a cutting foul. And truck stop should still maintain possession. Well, I think that's why the conversation is continuing right now. Preventing him from making a play on the disc. It's a, re it's a receiving foul. The uh, fouled player is awarded the disc in on one. But the foul occurred before the disc was released, disc long before. Yeah, they're playing it as essentially a continuation because he was the receiver after the foul. 